Stipenda is a collaboration project uh, we are doing with another NGO from Nigeria called Oro Data Science. Uh, so Tipende is uh, supported by HEFOS. Tipende, meaning Let's Count, um, is an amazing project. It's an organization that we are always looking to solve civic problems. Uh, Tipende is not just about we, but, uh, but more about empowering the citizens with right information, the right tools to hold government accountable. And that's what Tipende is all about. We use data to, um, to make, um, to hold government accountable. We communicate data for citizens to um, and leverage it to make informed decisions or actionable decisions. Um, we use data in every way possible to tell stories. Uh, for us, telling stories, we look at how these stories can solve community problems, solve civic problems, um, how this data can actually lead to effective um, public service delivery and also um, good governance foster transparency and accountability in government. We've been training uh, 20 young uh, Zambians uh, to uh, create infographics using uh, local data so that they can use those infographics to demand uh, for social accountability. And so for us, it's about two things, educating. Uh, but beyond educating, it's also about equipping with tools tools to be able to communicate whatever I think, whatever it is you have actually accessed from data. And that's what the dependent is about, holding government accountable and using relevant tools. And most of the time, the, the, the key uh, focus on dependent is about using data analytics, data uh, technology to hold government accountable. And so, of course, to access data, you need data tools. You need um, the ability to use these tools to simplify the data, to analyze the data, um, to communicate the data effectively not just to yourself, not just to your immediate environment, but to the community at large. So we've been doing the training for quite some time now, and uh, so far it's been going very great. Uh, we've learned a lot of lessons uh, in how to implement uh, such a project uh, in a COVID-19 period. We are excited to see what the participants will be able to produce because so far we've been getting an overwhelming uh, response of, oh, I didn't know that could happen. Um, and it's been amazing and um, I'm, I'm really excited about to see where this uh, thing will actually go and how far we can um, take it uh, so that we can demand for accountability and citizens may start enjoying the full equitable resources that their land is able to produce. You can just be in the dark and say government is misappropriating funds. You can say that by assumption, but then without information, without, without proof, no one is going to take you serious. You can have that debate on a larger scale. But when you have the information, he who has the information has power. And so with that information, you can even rally more people. And information is in a way that they can easily understand it in a simplified infographics or information visualized way and, and I, I like to see a situation whereby we are even able to create more educational videos that we could put on the dependent platform and then um, we can have more people get access to it and learn more this is important it means that anyone anywhere could access the educational videos along every other additional course that we try to create So we've done Tipende in Zambia. I'm um, also seeing it, I mean, of course, Tipende is similar to um, most of the other civic tech projects we we do here in Nigeria. For the way Tipende is, I also have like to have a, a clone project or to actually have the same um, event in Nigeria uh, because um, when we were uh, putting up um, um, publications for Tipende, we started getting um, messages and uh, WhatsApp messages and emails and people were asking Nigeria, were asking, is this event only for people in Zambia and Osaka? What about people in Nigeria? And I said, when we're done with this, we'll begin to consider or make plans, hopefully, um, with more support uh, from other or other organizations. Um, we can also create um, a Nigeria uh, version and then also sustain it between both countries. And then beyond um, Nigeria and Zambia, we can even um, do depending for other countries.